Academic Search Premier is a database which stores thousands of articles on a variety of topics from journals, magazines, and newspapers. The initial screen is the advanced search screen, which includes three search fields. The trick to a successful search is to break your research topic into keywords that you can then enter into these fields. For example, if my research question asks, what impact does the cost of textbooks have on college students, I would first identify the key components of the question. In this case, the keywords would be cost, textbooks, and college students. After identifying these terms, I would brainstorm related words that could also be used as keywords. For costs, I could try searching for price, expense, or fees. For textbooks, I could try searching for text followed by an asterisk. This would tell the database to search for words that begin with text but end in different ways, such as text, textbook, and textbooks. I could also try searching for books or supplies. For college students, I might try simply students or undergraduates. I would then select a few of my keywords to enter into the search fields. In this case, I'm going to search for college students, text with an asterisk, and costs. Below the search boxes appear additional options for limiting results. The option for full text is automatically checked, ensuring I will have access to complete articles. Another available option is the peer-reviewed box. Peer-reviewed articles are generally considered to be the most credible because they've gone through a rigorous review process before publication. Sources from newspapers and magazines will be excluded from my search because they do not go through the peer-reviewed process. Generally, this box can remain unchecked, but you should ask your instructor if they required peer-reviewed sources for your project. The option to limit your results to a specific publication range may be important depending upon the subject you are researching. For example, if I were researching a psychological disorder or a medical condition, I would generally want information published within the last three to five years. If I were doing research on a famous 19th century author, older results may still be suitable. Notice there are other options, including selecting a specific document type, publication type, language, the inclusion of images, etc. If any of these limiters are important to my research, I will adjust them. I find 76 results, which is great because it's plenty of articles to weed through, but not an overwhelming amount. If my search had come back with zero results, I would try using different keywords. If I want to quickly access an article, I click on the PDF full text link. This opens up a scanned copy of the article as it appears in the journal. In the upper right hand corner are options to manage the article, including downloading, printing, and emailing. These tools will help me keep track of my research. The PDF format is useful because page numbers are present, which will be required when I cite the article in both APA and MLA style. Returning to my results list, I can get more information about an article by clicking on the blue hyperlinked title. Notice I now see an abstract or summary of the article, which I can read through to get a quick sense of what the article is about. To the right, I again see options for keeping track of the article, and I also find a cite link which generates APA and MLA citations. On a rare occasion, there can be an error with this suggested citation, so you'll want to check it before you incorporate it into your paper. The database also tags articles with subject terms. These can be used as keywords for your search, or if you click on them, the database generates a new search for articles with that subject term. These results may be slightly different from what I have already found, and I could add additional keywords to focus the results on my topic. If I want to expand my search and see what is available in the other databases, I can click on the Choose Databases hyperlink. This shows me all of the EBSCOhost databases available through MCC. By checking the Select All button, I can search all of them at once. Notice my results have expanded to 246. Again, at this point I may want to add more keywords to focus my search. Many databases focus on specific subjects and I can select one that relates to my research topic. For example, the Psychology and Behavioral Sciences collection would contain articles about psychological disorders. Because these databases are owned by EBSCO, they all operate the same. Once you've figured out the basics of searching and generating keywords, you'll be able to use any of them for your research projects.